Well, Paul was at the U.S. Men's Gymnastics Championships in Houston uh, the day he broke his hand. He incurred a fracture of the fourth metacarpal, which is the bone behind the ring finger, and he caught his finger as he was doing a routine on the parallel bars, which twisted it in such a way that it snapped. So Paul's case was special uh, because uh, we had a very short time frame for him to get ready for the Olympics, and we had to maximize every technique and trick in the hand surgery booklet to speed his healing. We had to push it as hard as we possibly could, and from a sports medicine standpoint, take a calculated risk uh, that uh, there was a slight chance that the fracture maybe wasn't healed enough and, and he would do something that would totally undo and the fixation and, and break the bone again, which would have been a disaster. And we were able to safely avoid that by the way we managed his case postoperatively. Well, here I am post-surgery. Everything went really well. The doctor was happy with how everything went. He said he'd give himself about a 99 out of 100. And I was pleased that uh, the surgery went quite well. Uh, you worry that sometimes the fracture can break up into more little pieces, but that didn't happen with Paul's case. And we got it back so that the x-ray really looked perfect when we got done, which got us off to a good start and um, made a positive outlook for his future. But we planned out the time that we had in, the, in a full program and tried to stay, uh, as I say, as far ahead of schedule as we could. And we were doing great until he uh, injured his shoulder. I fully concurred with his decision to withdraw from the Olympics because I know he's just as perfectionistic in his sport as we are as me members of the American Society for Surgery, the hand in our hand surgery. I can't stand mediocre hand surgery, and I don't think he can stand mediocre gymnastics. So if he's not going to be able to, to compete at the highest level, he felt it wise to withdraw and let somebody else take his place.